I know you've spoken out about uh, transgender women, meaning biological men who want to live their lives as women, um, infiltrating or taking over or participating in actual women's sports. And um, it's happening more and more. We, we talked last week about this school in Vermont that, to its credit, actually spoke up against this. And uh, it's a Vermont Christian school. And what they did was, um, it, it's called Mid-Vermont Christian School. They said in the state basketball playoffs, we are not going to play against a team that has a transgender student. We're not sending our biological girls to play against a team that has a biological boy on it. It's not safe and it's not fair. And we don't care that it's the state playoffs. We're not going to do it. And uh, the Vermont law requires this to be allowed. So now there have been penalties. They are prohibited from participating in any future tournaments. The Vermont Principals Association has ruled that they can't do the future tournaments and no one from the school, any sport at the school is now banned from all state tournaments, not even just basketball, because they took this position about playing against a biological boy. They were, and they said, we're looking out for our students. Basketball in particular is physical. It's, it's not like even swimming, which is still controversial, but like, you don't just swim in your own lane. Nobody touches you. It's, it's physical. So let's start with that. And then I'll get the, the power lifting. Yeah. Um, my stance is very clear on this. Um, Boys play with boys, girls play with girls, and transgenders, if you want to participate, should play with transgenders. Um, Just like we see in competitions where there's a Special Olympics category, and they're able to compete against themselves as well. Um, And this is not a social conversation. It's not a conversation about identity. This is about biology. This is about bodies. Um, And in sports, we've already been able to differentiate between Men and women's sports. And it's weird. Let's get deeper on this first. When there's men and there are women participating, actually, there are opportunities for women to play with the men. But there are no opportunities where the men can play with the women, if you think about it, like Mm -hmm. in those competitions. Mm -hmm. So it's funny we say male and female sports. What we really should say is female sports and open. Like, if you can compete with the men, go ahead. But in this situation, mm. what, what came to life was um, conversations, uh, what would I do with my daughters? And I have three daughters. And I said I wouldn't allow them to compete against a transgender. And it's not out of disrespect to a transgender. Yes, your best friend could be a transgender. But in a competition where we're actually trying to measure your physical body and your strength and endurance and conditioning, et cetera, There's no way because it's not a level playing field. And I can dive into the weeds of why, but it's not only unfair, but it's not right. I am a man and I know what I possess in terms of strength and I in capacity. And no matter what I do to transition from being a man, my complete body won't make that transition. You can say the hormones, you can say some parts of the anatomy, but not a complete transition to a woman. I could not give birth. Like it, the point is to keep it simple because I do respect them as people. I just don't want them to compete against my daughters as an athlete. Just like I wouldn't compete against my daughters as an athlete. Right now, right. if there was a professional football league, And I'm 48 years old and I got one knee and no hips, it feels like, some days. I literally Mm -hmm. will make the Pro Bowl in the women's league. And people will be like, oh, you think, let me tell you what I possess. I possess a capacity that is just greater than a woman in terms of the physical metrics. You can take it to any sport. The longest drive average in golf. It's like 40-yard difference for men to women. You Oh, really? Yes, even in golf. Now, you want to talk about physical sports or combat sports? Oh, it gets greater in extreme. So I just looked at the conversation simply and tried to address it. It's weird that we're in a place in our society that stating the obvious is controversial. Like, I'm like, Mm -hmm. I'm not trying to be controversial. I'm just telling you, there's a reason why we have that. My son is seven. We had a four-year-old boy play on our team last year. Every one of those seven-year-old boys 
was protecting that four-year-old because they knew he couldn't do what they could do. And that's the same thing when you get into this conversation deeper. You know what you are capable of doing is a different capacity than those you're competing against. So your, 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 your heart and your VO2 capacity, greater as a man than it is, larger as a man than it is for a woman. I can go down the laundry list. So I really want to keep it simple so I don't demonize transgenders. I am not disrespecting you. I'm just saying male sports, female sports, transgender sports. Let's play ball. Mm -hmm. Amen. And, and on the powerlifting, it's so obvious. This is another one where, it, no, you're not going to hurt somebody because you're not powerlifting against them exactly. But that's all about strength, right? It's like that's the area in particular where men have an obvious natural advantage over women. National Review has this great piece up um, where they spoke with this athlete in Canada. And and it's not just Canada. I'll tell you what's happening in Canada, but it's it's happening in the United States because we just covered a court ruling that went against the biological women. Um, transgender athlete named Christine Bainton. Bainton. Um, she says, this is from the National Review piece, she had no idea she'd been beaten by a man mm -hmm. at the 2019 British Columbia Powerlifting Association Fall Classic until she heard the winner accept the first place trophy. It was a man's voice. I said, what's going on here? Turned out it was this transgender woman named Anne Andres, who's a man who is allowed to compete against the women, get this, without any restrictions under the Canadian Powerlifting Union's trans competition policy. This person, Anne, doesn't have to take hormones, doesn't even have to declare mm. that Anne is trans. <clears throat> Anne can just enter the women's competition without saying anything about the fact that Anne has lived all of Anne's life as a man, has a penis, hasn't done a thing about her testosterone, Anne's testosterone, um, and go for it. Crush everybody. Good on you. That's the Canadian rule. And Anne has been crushing and has been earning medals and setting records. And it just happened here in the United States where in Minnesota they ruled the, that um, – USA powerlifting must allow transgender athletes to compete in the women's division. Uh, too bad if you don't like it. And can I just say, one of the reasons why now they're protesting up in Canada, even Canada, it takes a lot to make the Canadians protest. It's like it's not, not really there. <laughs> I know, their thing, I'm married to a Canadian, right? I know. <laughs> yeah, they're nice. Like they usually go they along really to get are. along. Really but are. one of the reasons is that this powerlifter, Ann Andres, is kind of an asshole. <laughs> mm. Kind of rubbing it in their faces. Here's a little sample of Anne. Welcome to Anne says something controversial. Um, why is women's bench so bad? I mean, not compared to me. We all know that I'm a training freak, so that doesn't count. And no, we're not talking about Mackenzie Lee. She's got little T-Rex arms and she's like 400 pounds of chest muscle, apparently. I mean standard bench in powerlifting competition for women. I literally don't understand why it's so bad. My son, he weighs 45 pounds. His max bench is like 33. I'm legit seeing some women in competition who are doing something like 50 pounds and I just don't understand it. Oh my mm. God. Just to correct what I said, Christine is not trans. Christine is a biological woman who got beaten by a trans person named Anne, who we just showed. What well, she can't understand, Anne can't understand why women are so bad. <laughs> yeah, that, that is rubbing it in their face. Um, it's unfortunate, too, because we all understand those restrictions, just like a man understands I can't give birth to a child. <laughs> like, you know, you just say, all right, that's yeah. what comes with my gender. And it's not to slight women and it's not to slight men. It's just the way it is. You know, two things. Um, let me start here because <clears throat> the list is forever. But let's start here. Florence Griffith Joyner. Flojo, right? Mm, Fastest Florida. woman to ever exist, right? 10, 4, 900 meters. Fastest woman ever. There's 8 billion people on the planet right now, and more than half are women. Now, let's just go through the math of entire nation, society, history of the world. Billions and billions of people. The fastest woman ever is 
probably 12th place in the California high school championships right oh now. There's goodness. high schoolers that will beat the fastest woman that ever existed. Now, let's take it to a personal conversation. Boys. Do you mean, yes, do you boys. mean boys? Your, your boys, yeah. yes. High school boys. High school boys, 14-year-olds will beat the fastest woman that was ever created. Think about that. All right. Let's get it personal. Let's take it home. Because there's two things from this. One, I had a conversation with a woman who was on the Mount Rushmore of the WNBA, one of the best basketball players ever. Don't want to say her name because this is a controversial conversation. But I said, damn, you're so good. Could you play in the NBA? And she looked at me like I was the dumbest person alive. And Lurie was like, hell no. They're too big, too fast, too strong. Are you kidding me? She's literally top four NBA, WNBA player ever and was like, it's, there's not a chance that she could have played mm-hmm. in the NBA. Not a chance, she told me privately. Now, why everyone was like, why are you so emotional and adamant about this, Marcellus? And they thought I had no experience with it. They just thought I was just being a talking head. Google 2017, Connecticut, Glastonbury High School. Now, my yeah. daughter went to that school and had to be in competition, her classmates and herself, with a transgender who went and set 15 records and won like 50, it was two of them, won 55 championships between the two. Something absurd. This really demolished the record books and took all the medals and scholarship opportunities from naturally born women. Um, I don't know why we want to make this conversation more difficult than it is. It's pretty obvious that a man possesses power and strength that is going to be greater than a woman on average and certainly on the extremes. We need to respect that like we respect other things and keep the gender roles and lines bold and distinguished. Sherry from Omaha, Nebraska has this to say about Genucel, quote, I have sensitive skin and I'm careful about all products. Then my husband bought me Genucel's immediate effects product and the Genucel deep firming serum. Felt it working immediately. Eyes look amazing, face feels smooth, and it diminished the appearance of wrinkles. So impressed. And thanks to Genucel and my husband, I now take Genucel everywhere. End quote. It's not just Sherry. Genucel has sold over 1 million products to women and men across this great country. Say goodbye to fine lines, wrinkles, and even those annoying under-eye bags and puffiness from years of endless Zoom calls. And look 5, 10, even 15 years younger, just in time for warmer weather. Best of all, guaranteed results in as little as 12 hours or your money back. Go to GenuCell.com to see for yourself with 70% off their most popular package. That's all their best stuff, including the classic under-eye bags and puffiness treatment, free shipping, and luxury beauty box containing two free gifts, with every subscription. Go to genucel.com slash MK60. That's G-E-N-U-C-E-L dot com slash MK60. Hey, thanks so much for watching. If you like what you just saw, hit the subscribe button for more clips and full episodes.